back will dispel the belief that all athletes make big bucks. You will meet a Kansas City sports team that's paid peanuts to pave the way for progress. Watch the fast moves of the Mustangs. But before we make a fast break to the commercial, take a look at these results. They're only preliminary. Our final results are still to come, so call our Tail 4 line and stay with us. That men do. Well, you've heard of the Chiefs and the Royals, of course, but how about the Mustangs? No, uh, not the car. We're talking Kansas City's professional basketball team, our women's professional basketball team. In tonight's Focus 4 report, primetime Sue Mason shows us these pioneers fighting the odds in a sport dominated by men. I just love basketball ever since I was little. Ever since I could pick up a basketball, I've been, I've been playing. For me, I mean, it wasn't a matter of money <laughs> at all. I mean, it was just more the thrill of, of competition. When you score on someone, it's like being in a zone, you know, it's like being in your own world. These are the Mustangs, Kansas City's professional women's basketball team. Sarah Campbell is one of the Mustangs' star players. It's a fast-paced game. It's exciting. We're going through the hole. We're shaking and baking. We're doing all the fancy moves that men do. No, I mean, no one expects for a team to come out and score 100-plus points a game. And so when they do come to the game and, and, and everybody's like in awe, they're like, oh, my goodness, I, I can't believe this. This is great. This is exciting. These women are the pioneers of the Women's Basketball Association, hoping to pave the way for future players and for a time when the WBA is a household name. Yep. For now, for the love of basketball, they go to daytime jobs, practice at night, and get paid peanuts to play their hearts out. Sarah, you're going to start at number 14. Calvin Thompson is the Mustangs coach. The dedication that, that, that we have that we bring to the court, it's, it's tremendous. One, two, three. Dang! It's the love of the game. That's great. She has unbelievable drive. She has a talent that's out of this world. In one game last year, Sarah Campbell scored 62 points. I, I'm a very intense player. I'm a very intense player. And, you know, when you see me run down the court and I'm doing this and, and I'm excited and, and I'm playing with a lot of emotion and, you know, I'm right there in that zone. Uh, it's just me in the basket. It's just me in the basket. Nerves. I mean, you, uh, you have to have nerves of steel because they're going to be coming after you. You know, any way they can to try to get that ball or try to follow you, you just gotta, you just gotta be ready. You just gotta be ready for anything. Dedication and nerves of steel start with the team's owners, Kim and Ron Lichtai. When few believed in the WBA, they invested in the Mustangs. It's very inspiring for for both of us to be involved with people that dedicate their lives to this extreme. Still struggling to gain exposure, the team hopes Kansas City sports enthusiasts will discover what Mustang fans already know. They can shoot, they can play defense, they can do anything the men can do, except for dunk. It's really interesting, more competitive than I thought it would be. You know, you just don't think of women's basketball being this exciting. And it's really surprising. I think I'll probably be a season ticket holder from now on. Kansas City has an opportunity right now to step up and truly get involved with this because if, if they would just take a moment and look at it, they're the founders of the WBA. It's not anything that's going to happen overnight. No. It takes time to build. The NBA took, I mean, a couple decades to evolve. Mustangs, come on now. Get every box out, get every loose ball. To the lick ties and to the players, the WBA is about more than gate receipts. It's also about dreams. I want to play on the Mustangs team. It's sort of neat to see that women are playing. It sort of encourages me a little bit. I always remember, you know, they, as growing up, they always said you can be whatever you want to be. Even though you're a girl, you can be whatever you want to be. And the ladies in the WBA are making that dream come true for little girls. And they're showing kids and adults alike that dreams can only come true with determination and drive and a little faith. You have to decide how good you want to be. You know, do you want to be exceptional or do you just want to be average? Playing through the pain of an injured knee and in need of stitches, Sarah Campbell insists on staying on the court to see her teammates take a must-win victory over Memphis. It's worth it to me in my heart because I love the game and I, I just have to be a part of it. I'm like a Timex. I take a licking and I keep on ticking. It's all a part of the game. 
the game. It's like the NBA. It's fantastic. <laughs> Sue Mason, News Channel 4. Women playing, playing well, and playing tough. They're great examples. Mm -hmm. This year, the team finished second in the National Conference, and attendance tripled. And for all of their effort, until recently, the Mustangs earned nothing for playing in the WBA. Now, for a game, each player receives $50. Pizza money afterwards. Next year, the league hopes to up that to a living salary, since the Mustangs' full schedule will be broadcast on the Prime Sports Cable TV Network.